this month has been all about sciatica and how we can approach our poses or our classes from different intensity levels to kind of meet our bodies where they are. So we talk about a standing twist where you want to have your knee at about 90 degrees and we are going to raise the standing leg and as we twist to a wall, we're twisting towards the bent leg, we're going to press that heel down with an exhale. Now this is a less intense variation of the standing version of a reclined pigeon that we talked about. Um, I'm using my table, but again, you can use a chair, a bed, um, whatever you have accessible to you. So we can come up here, we stand on one leg, we bring the knee just onto the table and keeping our hips square, bottom foot is pointed forward. We can still pull the toes up to activate those hip muscles and we can come forward. We can put the whole foot on here to intensify it further, just like you would do on your mat, but one leg is standing. So we have a little bit of wiggle room here um, to bend the knee, to keep the knee straight, really engage through the glutes, and to come into a more intense variation of the standing twist. So, but the nice thing is you can, you can modify these all um, with more, you know, traditional on the mat poses. Not that these aren't traditional, it's just a different variation. But it just gives you ideas as to how to modify um, to meet people where they are. So for a standing hamstring stretch, we're gonna have a surface at or below hip level. And we can use the strap around the bottom foot and around the top leg. Now we're gonna keep everything pointed forward, pull the toes on the lifted leg up, activate the kneecap, activate the quads, right? Because we want the hamstring to release. Now we wanna make sure we're keeping our hips level. This bone, this femur is going down, not up. And we are active in our standing leg. So we're not just flopping there. Um, you could also be near a wall if you needed to be near a wall with that one. Um, the other one that we talked about was the sacral reset. So your SI joints, for some people, SI joints cause a lot of, of um, irritation. And so sometimes getting them back to center can be helpful. So we want to have our bend in our knee and our hip roughly 90 degrees. This is rubbing on the wall. Now, we talked about doing this um, in a reclined position, um, leg bridge as well. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna keep our back nice and aligned, lifting through the sternum, two fists between the knees, and we gently pull in towards to push the fist together, towards the center. And we can even activate the pelvic floor um, when we do this. And then release that, and then we're bringing the hands to the outside and press. The other thing that we touched on, which is very important, is to make sure that you are maybe going through some gentle ranges of motion, you could do some lateral rotation, internal rotation, because if you think about it, um, things like tree pose, just constantly doing tree pose, that's great for this side, but if our piriformis is really, really tight, we don't want to be engaging in too much lateral rotation. Um, actively engaging that because it might cramp things down a little bit worse. So we want to make sure that we are thinking through our strategy and trying to help heal the issue and move forward and be able to engage in a whole bunch of different asanas.